नमस्ते दोस्तों दोस्तों अगर आप ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आकर कोई भी इंजीनियरिंग प्रोफेशन की पढ़ाई करना चाहते हैं या आप ऑस्ट्रेलिया में आके किसी भी इंजीनियरिंग प्रोफेशन में जॉब करना चाहते हैं तो आपको यह पता होना चाहिए कि ऑस्ट्रेलिया में अभी आप जिस प्रोफेशन या जिस ऑक्यूपेशन से आते हैं या ऑक्यूपेशन को परस्यू करना चाहते हैं उसकी क्या डिमांड है उसकी डिमांड किस सेक्टर में ज़्यादा है उसमें एवरेज सैलरी क्या है और आगे जाके फ्यूचर में डिमांड क्या रहने वाली है पिछले साल क्या डिमांड रही तो इन सब के बारे में जानने के लिए ऑस्ट्रेलियन गवर्नमेंट का जो पिक इंजीनियरिंग बॉडी है इंजीनियर्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया वो हर साल बाई एनुअली दो आउटलुक रिलीज करती है लेबर मार्केट आउटलुक तो आज हम उस आउटलुक के बेसिस पे ये जानने की कोशिश करेंगे कि कौन से जित प्रोफेशन हैं जो सबसे ज़्यादा पॉपुलर हैं जिनकी डिमांड सबसे ज़्यादा है कितना वर्क है इंजीनियरिंग वर्क है वो ऑनगोइंग है आगे कितना रहने वाला है इन सब के बारे में जानने के लिए लेट्स गेट इन टू दिस डॉक्यूमेंट सो दोस्तों हियर इज़ दी डॉक्यूमेंट the australian engineering labor market overview it was released last year in august but it is still relevant in the sense that it gives us an idea of the trends what will happen this year so let's go through this this is a big document 31 pages we won't go through the whole document but we'll quickly go to key points firstly we will go to the vacancies so vacancies by occupation or job title so it says uh, that the count of search results for engineering job titles on seek and linkedin so if you look then that's on 19th july 2024 so for chemical engineer on seek there were 715 uh, vacancies and on linkedin 175 for civil engineer it was 2520 and 782 on linkedin for electrical again quite high number around 3000 so number of the job advertisements by month for engineering occupations from the whatever the code it says so in this if you look at from april may june three months the civil engineering professionals which include civil engineer geotechnical engineer structural engineer as well as quantity surveyor they basically made almost up to half of the total engineering vacancies so from this we can clearly see that by far the largest share of vacancies are for civil engineering professionals which include civil geotechnical structural and transport engineers as well as quantity surveyors and roughly about 2 and 1/2000 vacancies were there throughout these 3 months so if you are a civil engineering professional definitely you will be in a good demand for other occupations if you look at electrical engineers about 600 electronics engineers not so much demand about 100 industrial mechanical production engineers around 1000 mining engineers 800 engineering managers so lot of students these days are going to engineering management courses so just look at this data and make your decision accordingly so only about 400 managers were required ICT support and test engineers about 500 and the telecommunication engineers again quite low number now if we go to vacancies by state and territory to see which state for which occupation so that you can see here that the highest demand for engineering professionals or basically they based on the job advertisements it is in sa australian capital territory sct that was like almost around 300 throughout from june 22 to june 24 in all other states the demand is about 100 to 150 current that was the last year so again probably it is stabilizing so we might expect it to be 
staying around the same. One thing which I would like to stress here is that how many temporary skills visas are provided to different occupations. So if you look at this plot figure number 12, temporary migrants by engineering occupations from March 22 to March 2024. And it is the civil engineering professionals which makes the most of the chunk. If you look at this plot, they made up the most of the temporary migrants, uh, followed by the industrial mechanical production as well as the ICT support and test engineers. So again, civil engineering is in a great demand. Now, if you look at the average yearly income in 2021 and 2024 for civil engineering professionals, it basically grew from 114,000 to 122,000 Australian dollars per annum. The mining engineers were the highest paid, about 148, 50 to 160. You can see if you are a civil engineer, basically that is the average actually. So about 110 to it increased to 120, 9% increase, site engineer 20 to 30, transport again 20 to 30. Senior civil engineer, 170 to 180,000. So senior structural engineer around same it remained in the two years same so those two it also talks about the levels of experience in demand ki jo fresh graduates hai unki zyada demand hai ya experience logon ki zyada demand hai so mid level engineers jinke paas 8 se 14 years ka experience hai they were the most difficult to find so this is the most in demand and therefore this document ko aise nahi samajhna hai ki recent graduates ki sabse jyada demand hai it is the most about the mid level engineers because they are very difficult to find now also consult australia that is another government body members also reported in the 2023 skills survey report on their perceptions of which disciplines and skill sets were in greatest demand in 2023 now these survey respondents were asked with following occupations and asked which were in the demand so like civil engineering engineering management environmental science geotechnical engineering geography transport traffic so based on these responses it was concluded that at the graduate level hydrology transport engineering and geotechnical engineering were in greatest demand for other experienced logo ki baat kare to unke liye structural modeling and engineering hydrology and sustainability inke zyada demand Again, the Australian government has committed to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. So, if net zero by 2050, achieve so there has to be a lot of engineering activity to achieve this target. And therefore, this document also suggests or indicates that there will be a good demand for professions, particularly in clean energy, electricity, transmission, and these sectors. So, this is document ko summarize karne ke liye ek article hai engineers Australia ki website pe an overview of the engineering labor market in six graphs. So, agar aap just take summary padna chaate ho, jada time nahi hai. So, please go through this one. So, it talks about first the post pandemic boom for engineers is waning, which means ki if you look at this number of vacancies in professional engineering roles uh, with time, yahan pe dekho ge aap ki this was the time when COVID occurred. And just after COVID, the vacancies peaked in May 23. Or uske baad se jo number of vacancies and it has been on a steady decline. So, यही ये हाइलाइट करना चाह रहे हैं कि जो पहले डिमांड थी 23 में 
उतना डिमांड अभी इंजीनियरिंग प्रोफेशनल्स के लिए नहीं है इट इज सॉफ्टनिंग दो इट इज स्टिल देयर फिर बोल रहा है सिविल इंजीनियर्स आर बाय फार एंड लार्ज द मोस्ट इन डिमांड अकाउंटिंग फॉर ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ ऑल वैकेंसीज दूसरा फिर बोल रहा है स्किल्स डिमांड वेरी डिपेंडिंग ऑन वेर यू लिव अगेन डिपेंड करता है कि आप किस जगह पे हो वहाँ पे किसी सेक्टर में जैसे न्यू साउथ वेल्स है वहाँ पे जी सबसे ज़्यादा डिमांड है ए सिटी में भी काफ़ी डिमांड है और टेस्मानिया में भी है बाकी में जैसा कि अराउंड हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वी लुक एट इन दर प्लॉट इट इज द सेम प्लॉट बेसिकली so a city is the one having the highest vacancy then if you look at the tasmania one may wahan pe bhi kafi strong demand hai lekin baki sare states mein it's almost about 100 to 150 fir teesra point ye bol raha hai ki skilled migration is recovering but that doesn't guarantee a job in engineering ki haal hi mein australian government hai wo temporary aur both permanent visas zyada de rahi hai इंजीनियरिंग प्रोफेशनल्स को लेकिन इसका मतलब यह नहीं है कि आपको यहाँ पे आते ही बहुत इजीली जॉब मिल जाएगा फॉर एग्जांपल अगर लोग आप देखो इस प्लॉट को तो आफ्टर कोविड 19 बोथ टेम्प्ररी एंड परमानेंट माइग्रेंट्स का नंबर जो है वो एक लीनियरली इंक्रीज हो रहा है एंड द डेटा इज फॉर अप टू लाइक परमानेंट रेजिडेंस इट्स अप टू जनवरी ट्वेंटी but somewhere it should maybe it will be crossing over the temporary one this year again engineers are well paid but be careful of comparisons kyunki ye bahut sari cheezon pe depend karta hai jo bhi ye numbers hain this is the average salary whatever you get depends isliye aap fresh graduate ho then you will be far away from this number so be careful inke piche nahi jana hai overall एवरेज सैलरी हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड थी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर में इंजीनियरिंग प्रोफेशनल्स के लिए दूसरा अर्निंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ इंजीनियर्स कंपेयर विद अदर प्रोफेशंस कंपेरिजन किया गया मेडिकल सेक्टर के साथ ना कंस्ट्रक्शन डिमांड इज इजिंग वॉट इट से इज दैट ये प्लॉट देखो आप कितना वैल्यू ऑफ वर्क डन सो दैट इज क्रॉसिंग ओवर दैट इज अबो द वैल्यू ऑफ वर्क कमेंस्ड तो नया काम जो है वो कम स्टार्ट हो रहा है जो काम ऑलरेडी कंप्लीट हो रहे हैं उनसे दैट मीन्स दैट कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटी जो है वो थोड़ा थोड़ा डाउन हो रहा है लेकिन ये बोल रहा है कि इंजीनियरिंग डिमांड जो है वो आगे बढ़ेगी क्योंकि ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज ट्राइंग टू अचीव नेट जीरो ट्रांजेक्शन बाई ट्वेंटी और अगर इसके लिए जाना है so then you would need more engineers especially in clean energy sector so dosto please read this document from hava and try to get more idea of what what is the demand